I wish I could zoom in, but this doesn't, the camera doesn't do this. Oh, is that what that is? Oh, you're right. Okay, but then we lose the graph. We do. Yes, well, our next speaker, after much delay, is, um, well, my fault, is my part, is uh, Jasmine Harris. Welcome, Jasmine. Good afternoon. My name is Jasmine Harris, and today I am going to show you two graphs, um, one which can be seen as misleading, which is actually created by someone at CNN, and the other graph, um, I made improvements to the first one. Before I get into the graph, I wanted to tell you a story about where the graph originated from. Um, as you can see on the screen, this is a lady named Terry. In 1990, Terry had a massive heart attack and it left her in a vegetative state, which is also brain dead. Um, and after about three years of physical ther therapy, speech therapy, her husband decided that she wouldn't want to live this way and that they should remove the feeding tube, which was keeping her alive. Um, Terry's parents dis disagreed with her husband, Michael, and they actually took him to court. The case got so big that it got um, recognition from state as well as federal um, legislators and it went all the way up to having to have the president at that time, George W. Bush, make a decision in which he sided with her husband um, and she was able to have the feeding tube removed so she did die naturally. This is the original graph that was created by CNN. Um, as you can tell, there are a couple things wrong with this. For one, it started at number 53. Um, and it doesn't tell you if this is percentage, if this is by thousands. Um, it also has um, these colors and grid lines, which I felt kind of make it a little distracting for you to understand what this is actually about. Um, and the graph also shows a huge gap between the Democrats, the Republicans, Republicans, and the Independents, which it shouldn't be that huge because from 54 to 62, you can see that it's not that big of a difference. This chart, these are my improvements to the previous charts. I removed the grid lines and changed the background color. And I also started the numbering from 0 to 10. And as you can see, I did say that it says that these numbers um, represent the percentage of who agree. And the question that this um, graph is asking is, based on what you've heard or read about the case, you agree with the court's decision to have a feeding tube removed. How many of you agree that the feeding tube should have been removed? Not a lot of you, which is why I feel like this information should be important to you all because if something like this happened to you, would your family know what to do, what you would want to do? She was left basically on life support for almost 15 years. And I can't imagine that any of us would want to live that way. This information is important to me because I deal with paperwork such as disclosures, um, living wills. I have to make sure that these types of things are in patients' charts every day because if not, and they are incapable of making decisions, they'll be in a world of trouble, basically. Um, so today I have shown you the two charts and the differences in the two charts. Um, and I've given you why I'm interested in it, why I feel you should be interested in it. And my main takeaway that I hope that you all can understand that um, for me that end of life care is so important that Although we may feel like we're young, this can never happen to us, you never know when something like this would happen. Thank you. My name is Jasmine. Have a good day. <laughs> Thank you. All right. My question. You ready? Yeah. This case was, I remember it like it was yesterday. I won't ask you the year that it happened, but I remember it was a big, big, big deal. And people would argue about it in their families. So my question is, which president got involved? George W. Bush. George W. Bush. 